Zero Accounting Software 2023 Pay Sales Tax. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage going into the file we set up in a prior presentation. Get great guitars. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it. Right click in the tab up top so once again we can duplicate it. Back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down. We want to open up the balance sheet, slightly modified balance sheet we did in the prior presentation. If you don't have that, you can open the normal balance sheet. Tab into the right accounting drop down the income statement, but we're going to open the comparative income statement again. If you don't have that, you can open the standard income statement, the comparative income statement, however, comparing the current month, February, to the prior month, January, the balance sheet has been slightly adjusted in that we have some account categories that we put down here with the custom layout down below. All right, so now we're going to be dealing with sales tax and the pain of the sales tax, noting the taxes are going to differ depending on your location. However, note that taxes in general aren't really new. In other words, governments have dreamed up every possible way that they could basically tax people throughout time. It's not like taxes themselves are new or the different kinds of taxes are new. It's just which tax a particular government is deciding to implement in whatever kind of location at any particular time that they think can milk the most money out of the people right that's how the, that's the one that they're going to be going with so so we we're talking about united states taxes here in terms of a sales tax which is basically a usage tax type of system it's going to be applied on a state level as opposed to a federal level meaning every different state has to deal with their own and locality dependent state and local uh, types of sales tax and the tax happens when we make the sale and then we of course have to collect the tax at that point in time and then give the tax money to the government periodically now we tried to make the the taxes the sales tax a little bit generic here just to give a general idea of a usage type tax a sales types tax uh, because we don't want to make it too specific for a particular location it's also becoming it's also a little bit difficult to track when the tax is paid or due when you're not working in real time uh, using accounting software so let's just think about you know let's look at the flow chart first of all this is a quickbooks desktop flow chart but we're just looking in terms of the flow of forms and how the sales tax fit into the flow of the forms now the sales tax in theory is a government tax not on you the business owner but on the customer that's what the idea is obviously in economic terms you can argue whether that is actually the case or not but that's the theory. So what happens is when we make a sale to a customer with uh, either you know at the point of sale or with an invoice when we're billing the customer, those are usually our sales forms or possibly uh, we could have like, a you know, well, those are the two sales forms. Usually we're collecting the money at that time or we have an invoice that we are creating. Then we're also gonna be charging the customer the sales tax. Now the sales tax in theory isn't our charge and therefore we're not gonna record it as revenue, but instead as a payable type of account, accumulating a liability at that time. And then we're gonna have to give that money to the government or whoever's, whoever's giving us protection, we're paying them protection money, whoever's shaking us down, you know? So we're gonna go back on over and see what that looks like. So if I go into say like the income statement, and I go into our sales tab and let's drill down on the sales number to just look at a sales form to recall what this looks like. And we're gonna say, let's say that in here we have an invoice. Let's just pick up an invoice at the beginning. Uh, or here's a receive money form. Let's pick that one up. All right, so what? here's the sales tax on down below that's being calculated. So what is this doing when we record it? we have an increase to the sales that we charged which is this 1200 and the 1000 for a total of 2200 and that's what's increasing the revenue but we also had to charge this other in our case five percent which we broke out between local 
and state of the 88 and 22, that's not going to go into revenue, but rather it's going to go into a liability account and we're basically being forced to act as the tax collector in this case to collect that money. So it's going to increase the liability account and then we're going to collect the 2000 uh, 310, which is what's actually being deposited into our checking accounts. Now, just note that you can imagine a system where you're going to say, well, why don't I just record the 2310 as revenue? And the sales tax is an ordinary and necessary expense of doing business. And therefore, I would just have an expense there instead of having this sales tax payable account being involved. And one reason we don't do that in theory is because this amount isn't actually our revenue. We're just collecting taxes. It's supposed to be taxes on the client, on the customer. So, so we don't want to include it in revenue uh, there. Now, the reason that becomes important is because oftentimes at the end of the year, if you do taxes in the United States, you often get this question from clients or yourself. You're going to say, hey, I paid all this money to sales taxes. Why don't I have a sales tax expense account as a, as a deduction for taxes? You don't have it because we didn't record the revenue related to sales tax as taxes either both the revenue and the expense side having been reported on the payable account. So you, you, you need to be able to explain that to yourself and others because the question will likely come up. All right, so then I'm gonna go back and back. And then if I go to the first tab here, you'll recall we turned on the sales tax by going to the accounting dropdown. We went to advanced here and we went into the taxes. And you could have the taxes based on your location, but we just put in for the practice problem, our generic 5% tax. So it's a little bit generic in the problem. So when you turn on the taxes, you've got to turn it on by location that we did in a prior presentation. And then you need to set up your items, the things that you're selling, which is your products and services, business products and services, and tell the system which of these products and services, in our case, we said the products, the guitars, are subject to tax so that when you make the sales forms, the receive money forms and the invoices, it will be able to calculate the tax as you create those forms. That's the general outline. Note that some customers could be exempt from taxes, in which case you might have to go to those particular customers and mark them off as exempt from taxes. And those are the three things that you're going to have to do to set up the taxes. Now we've been collecting taxes. So if I just go to the balance sheet, I'm just going to look at this in terms of the balance sheet here. And I'm going to imagine that we have to collect the taxes for the month and then we're going to pay it at the end of the month. So we've done two months of data input at this point in time. So that means uh, we collected taxes through January. And I'm going to imagine we have to pay those taxes in February. So if I scroll down, for example, to the liability account, we've got the 4008. So if I if I go into the 4008, then this is how much we owe as of the end of February. But I only want to pay up through January at this point in time. That's what's due. So so here's the information uh, for January and February. So if I go, and these of course are the invoices um, that are helping to generate the, actually this is the accounts payable. What am I doing? Back, wrong number, wrong number.